Hey guys, it's Andrea here and today I'm going to give you a quick little tip on how to find free documents on Ancestry.com. That's right, Ancestry.com without having a paid membership. As many of you know, I have my family tree on Ancestry.com. To make an account and do a family tree, it's it's completely free and it's super easy to do. When you pay is when you go into the search bar and type in your ancestor's name and a whole bunch of documents come up. That's when you have to be a paying member to be able to view those documents. So the other day I found a way to be able to see certain documents for free on Ancestry.com. So this is really cool because it's not just like four or five different collections. There's like a lot like there's probably over 30 or 40 different collections and it's not just the United States but all over the world like if you're American you can go and search for documents in like different states or even the 1940 census is available for free if you're Mexican you can view the 1930s Mexican census and so there's just different documents that you can see from all over the world so I'm gonna show you how to do that for free okay guys so when obviously if you've never been to ancestry.com Type in Ancestry.com in, in your browser and this will pop up. If you guys are familiar with Ancestry.com then you know that this is what it looks like when you log into your account. If you've never had an account then make an account because it's free. Again, when you have to pay is to be, become a member which is to see all the documents for free. But I found out a way to see some collections out for free. I already told you this. Let's get on with the sh with the story. Obviously, this is what it looks like when you go on there. I haven't actually seen by like searching where it. It's basically a free index. But I, from searching here, I didn't see it. This is just the general search, the search bar on Ancestry. So what you have to do is just open a new tab, and you're gonna search. It's basically just search.ancestry.com forward slash forward slash search forward slash group forward slash free index a com and when you click on that it will take you to another part of ancestry and on the top it says free index collections if you want to save time you can just type in the names of your ancestors and see if they come out in any of the following data collections. So here they are they're um, in alphabetical order starting with with some years. So as you can see it has the United the eighteen eighty United States Federal Census. And as you can see they all say free, 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 free index. Um, and this part kind of looks tricky, but this is not where it ends. You have to keep scrolling down when it wants to. Hold on. Don't let me down. See, there we go. And there's a lot of different free indexes from around the world. See, Canada, Colombia, I think I just saw, Czechoslovakia, Germany, and then there's also some states from the United States, like Delaware. And go all the way down. There's so many of them. It's crazy. And these are all free, and I'm going to prove to you that they are free. Besides the part where it says free index, and I'm not a paying member because I don't have money to pay like $35 for the World Explorer because that's what I would be looking at because my most of my ancestors are in Mexico and that's what I would have to pay, but I don't. So let's say that you're from the US and you want to look at the 1880s federal census. So let's pretend that you have a family number that's named Jane Smith. You type in Jane Smith and there's no Jane Smith but let's pretend that your ancestor was who is this Jane Abbott and click on view record and it gives you the index part right here and it gives you all of this information you click view the document and hopefully it's gonna come out for free yes and this blows my mind because it's almost like one of those hidden secrets that I just find found out and I was like how are all these records on ancestry for free and they don't even tell you that they're for free because they probably want to for you to become a paying member keep in mind that this is a small collection that ancestry has for free there's thousands and thousands of more 
uh, index documents that are not the same ones as the ones that are here. So if you're really having a hard time looking, locating an ancestor, I would suggest that eventually you become a paying member um, to be able to view those documents. But right now, there's a lot of information here for free that you can take advantage and you can save your money and go on a vacation somewhere. Well, if you have a lot of ancestors in the US or just even if they're from or somewhere another part of the world you can try this because as I said already there's different countries and they're like Germany I think there's Spain there's just a lot of different countries from around the world so if you're a beginner in this whole ancestry family thing then I would suggest you do this and to try to start um, without investing a lot of money because you know sometimes it can add it can add up to a lot I have other videos where I discuss how to get free ancestry documents so if you want to go watch those go right on over and learn other ways to find ancestry documents for free. Um, if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Until next time you guys, goodbye.